the grid creation so i am giving you just a brief uh, brief recap of your studies class so till now we have learned how to select a pdb file and download it from the protein data bank then uh, the different criterias for the selection and then we learn about the uh, with the uh, the uniprot database and we have uh, we have selected some of the inhibitors from the uh, pubchem database okay so then we have prepared our protein structure so in today's class we will be prepare our ligands and we will use the the grid file we have created for the docking okay then uh, we will run the dockings by using the pyrex autodock vena and we will analyze the uh, poses okay so this task we will achieve today yes so everyone please open the chimera first and in chimera you will see that the files you have created will be shown here in the uh, rightmost white column okay so just first open the file which you which contains the ligand that is 5 ikr underscore e the pdb file which contains the ligand okay if you will click on that uh, pdb id you will redirect towards this side So this is your protein chain, chain A, and this is a ligand file ID. Okay. So uh, I have provided you one uh, the residue text txt file. So uh, for which I have generated by gathering the information uh, from here. See. So uh, as I have told you in our first class that a ligand interacts with a protein in a particular active site or the binding site. Okay. So it is basically the site. Which is besides uh, around the five angstrom of the ligand, all right. So we will see those side. We can see those the information from the chimera. So how we will uh, do that? We will just select our ligand, go to the select residue and select your ligand. Okay. So once you select this ligand, you can again go to go to the select tab and click on the zone. Okay. So in zone, you will see there are two parameters. one is select all the residues bonds that meet all the chosen criteria below less than 5 angstrom from the currently selected atom and another one is more than 5 angstrom from the currently selected atom so currently we have selected this um, id8 or the drug molecule tool so for the selection of the active site we just need the site which is uh, which is uh, present 5 angstrom towards this around this uh, ligand molecule okay So click on the first. Uh, please repeat it one more time. Uh, ma'am, one one minute. Yeah, please. Uh, which one did we have to open? Was it the input one or the other one? No, no, not input one. So we have created input file, which is just a protein file. It doesn't okay. contain the the ligand file. Okay. So you need okay. to open the file which contains the ligand as well. That means five I K R A, right? Yes. Yes. All right. Got it. Got it. Yeah. Got open it. that file. Open that file. Okay. Once you open that file, then select the ligand from the select residue and ID it. After that, you need to select, go to the zone, and select the first option. Check the first option to select the residues which are of uh, around the five angstrom of our ligand. Okay. When as soon as you will click on this OK button, you will see that. the uh, the resi the area around the five angstrom of this drug has been highlighted all right so now it it is not giving us the information related to the what residues are these which are getting highlighted okay so for that you need to go to the favorites here you can see there is a sequence sec uh, sequence uh, selection menu okay so when you need to click on this sequence so once you will click on this sequence it will open up the amino acid sequence of your uh, protein all right so these are the different amino acid residues which are uh, five angstrom to our drug molecule okay so when when you will take your mouse over these residues which are highlighted in the green color okay so here 
uh, at the bottom right you will see that the number of the residue is um, is shown like um, you can see that at the bottom before quit you will see that it, uh, methionine met 113 and a is highlighted it means this residue is, is present at the 113 position in this protein. Okay. So you need to collect all these residues like um, by 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 taking your mouse over these residues like methionine 113, palin 116, okay, um, arginine 120. So this is a in, in this is required when we create the grid. Alright, we will select the area around these residues only. So uh, till now I have provided you the, uh, the all the information of these residues in this file. Okay, so I have noted down all the residues which are 5 angstrom to the ligand. So 100 residue number 113, 116, 120, 205. All these residues are 5 angstrom from this uh, drug molecule. Okay, so this was our one task to get the information related to the 5 angstrom residues. Ma'am, okay. uh, just uh, uh, my structure looks a bit different. Uh, I don't know that. I think there are few more ligands added to the uh, okay. one no, that no, we no. saved yesterday. No, no, it it's not the ligand residues. It it is the residues of the protein. The residues of the protein uh, shown in the atoms. So to hide those residues, you can do one thing. You can just go to chain, select okay. a okay. action atom bonds. And you need to hide those. Okay. Select chain it will hide. A. Select, go to chain A. Okay. Action, atom bonds and hide. Okay. So it will hide all the residues. Since the drug is also the part of the chain, it will hide, uh, it will hide that too. So now okay. you need to just go to the residue ID8 and as you have hide hide those those atom bonds, now you need to show that ligand. Okay? okay. So once you will show that, it will uh, it will come in the GUI of Chimera. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So the thing is that you just need to select the residues which are 5 angstrom from this drug molecule. To do that, you need to go to select again, zone, and just click OK to the uh, the zone or the residues which are less than 5 angstrom to the uh, selected molecule. Alright. Now you will see that those residues will be highlighted in the sequence. Okay, just a minute. I think I'm falling back here. Uh... Then we go into action. Hmm. No, then we go into zone and then uh, okay. I think fine and strong. Okay. Yeah. And then after that, do we go into select or in tools for, for the sequence? Favorites. Go to favorites in the sequence. Okay, in the favorites and then the sequence. Yeah. Okay. So now it will highlight yeah. some of the residues. So I have selected twice, so it, it has shown me the more residues. Okay. So All you right. just need to do this only once. All right. So I have already provided you the information, so you don't need to write those information. So okay. this okay. is how you will select the active site residues. Now moving towards the docking part. So now click on the Pyrex. Open your Pyrex. Everyone has opened the Pyrex uh, interface. Just a second. Uh, a small doubt in the sequences. Uh, we have yes. to note down the residue number of the dark green highlighted only, right? Or light yes. green also. No, no, no. Light greens are not the highlighted one. Only the okay. dark green residues are the residues which has been selected. Okay, okay, ma'am. So now open these. I have given you the residue information, so don't write that down, okay? It will take time. Now open this Pyrex window. 
for the virtual screening everyone has opened that yes ma'am okay so the first yes, task which we will do is to create go to the edit and preferences click on the preferences all right in the preferences you need to uh, give the location of the workspace it is a location where you want to save your results okay just browse and select the folder where you have kept you have prepared ligand and downloaded ligand uh, pre prepared protein and downloaded ligand in my case it is training june 24 okay so in your case just select the folder in which you have keep your input files as well as the input ligand after selecting that click on okay then provided the uh, location now we need to open the uh, macro molecule file like protein file so for that you go to the molecules click uh, right click on that and load molecule okay uh, when you are loading molecule select this input 5 ikr underscore a input ma'am um, uh, can you repeat it yeah i i can i can. just right click on this molecule tab click on the load molecule and select your input file 5 ikr underscore a input after doing that you will see the ligand the reset the target file at the, the right uh, right uh, it right, right column okay so this is your protein file which we need for the docking so you can change the display like it is in the lines form at the moment if you want to see it in surface representation just click on the molecular surface and it will compute the molecule it will show you the the receptor um, as pyrex well. not molecule. working pyrex not working what is what kind of error you are getting i'm i'm not able to right click on molecules you are not able to right click on the molecules you can load it from yes. here click on the file and load molecule Okay, now you are you able to uh, means open the resulting file. So this is a surface representation of your target protein. So no, please note down that in the yes. Am I supposed to load which file? protein file protein input file input file you you want you need to load okay okay so you see that this is the surface representation of the file and if you will see that the in this protein there are certain kinds of areas which which is which are the hollow cavities right like this and some of the uh, some of the regions which are very shallow so always in the proteins active sites or the binding sites are located in these uh, deep cavities all right so this is one thing now you can see if you will click on this plus button you will see the composition of your ligand of your protein okay it will show you the composition like what are the amino acids present in the proteins and other things all right if you have any kind of ligand it will show at the end but we have only protein so it we show the protein uh, the amino acid residue with the numbers okay once we have uh, um, we have opened the macro molecule we need to change it or make it as a macro molecule okay because it is a bigger or the target molecule we need to change it to the make macro molecule click on this make macro molecule 
now the program will treat it as an target so if you will uh, click on this auto doc tag ma'am can you please repeat how to get it a macro molecule please select this click on this name of the target right click on this and okay. auto doc make macro molecule done okay so now go to this auto doc you will see that your macro molecule is shown in the macro molecules field okay so now we have our macro molecule we need to uh, we need to create the ligand data set okay for that we need to click on this open label see at the left bottom you will see open label data click on this open label so open label basically is a software which people used for the structural con uh, conversion as well as energy minimization okay so it is integrated with this pyrex so it we use this for the uh, energy minimization of the ligand as well as inputting the ligand to this uh, program so for adding the ligand to it just click on this insert new item click on this and go to the folder where you have saved your file okay so we need to open the files one by one it will not allow you to open all the files at once so just click open one by one all right you would be able to see different ligands here everyone have everyone open the ligand as well do we have to open all the ligands yes you need to open all the ligands okay there are only four ligands open the ligand you can do for only one molecule as well but for this practical open all the four ligands it won't take much time okay so now uh, if you have opened all the file we need to minimize those structures so for that just click on one of the structure and right click you will see there are different options we need to select minimize all so that it all the molecule get minimized at once okay so right click on, on any one of the structure and click on the minimize all everyone have you minimized your structures yes yes ma'am okay so you will see that uff has written here okay so this is the force field the universal force field which is used for the minimization of this these proteins uh, of these ligands now once we have minimized those um, we have minimized the uh, the ligands we need to create to convert them to the pdb qt format which is required for performing docking in the auto dock vena as well as auto dock port okay so just go to right click on any one molecule and click on convert all to the auto dock ligand till convert the molecule to the pdb qt format all right as soon as you will do that click on this ligands and refresh it you will see all the ligands will come here in the ligands option then yes, now we need to perform the actual actual docking experiments for that go to this vena wizards one second wait for one second
so now you will see that these we have the ligand files as well as the macro molecules here so now go to this vena wizard and you will see start here we need to select uh, go, uh, we need to click on the start menu okay after clicking on this start we need to select the ligands as well as the macro molecule so you will see that the the macro molecule is on, uh, is already selected click on the ligands click shift and click on the uh, the last ligand it will select all the ligands and uh, you will see the information four ligand selected at the vena panel okay so we need to select all the ligands select the macro molecules and the ligands then click on this property now you will see that a grid box has been generated around the protein all right so you can see the center is 32.90930 y is these are the xyz coordinates of this all right then the dimension is 25 25 25 this is the length at which it will dock the ligands so we need to check whether these um, whether the default grid which is generated by the vena okay is uh, uh, is around our the active site of the ligand or not for that click on this molecules and click on this plus button now we will need the information of our five angstrom residues okay so we need to select the residues number from here like residue number 100 in 1316 hundred in 13 in second hundred in 13 hundred in 16 hundred in 20 do it with me 205 we need to select this to see whether our grid is uh, default grid is uh, around these residues or not be careful huh, while selecting these mm. have you selected all the molecule anyone all the residues uh, in process uh just do it it's it's a little bit cumbersome task mm. i'm doing thing one one was okay starting 116 120 205 204 Two zero five, three forty four, three forty eight, three forty nine, three fifty two. See, it is not uh, some people doesn't do all these things, but it it will provide you the accuracy. All right, so. Just 352. do this. Ah, oh, 352. 353, 355. 359. Nine. 381. 382. 383. 384. 385. 386. 
All right. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Yes, ma'am. After doing that, just click on this pink toggle selection spares. I think I have selected some wrong thing. Done. Okay. So now you need to see that this is your binding site. Alright. You can you can rotate this. So these pink residues are the residues which are which are the five angstrom from your ligand. So just place your ligand in such a way that it covers these residue from all the direction. For for moving this this um, grid, don't click on these outside. Just click on this center sphere and move it. Okay. Just place it in such a way that it covers all the residue from all the x y z coordinates. All right. Then, everyone, have you performed this? Yes, ma'am. All right. So, what what is the value of this uh, Venus set space center X Y Z? In my case, the X value is thirty six point one zero, Y is two point six two, and Z is sixty one point eight six. What is this value in your case? It's 32.32 and Y is 4.2. Z is 61, ma'am. Okay. No, no issue. All right. I no issue. X is 34.85. Y hmm. is 0.75. Hmm. is 61.13. Oh, no issue. Okay. All right. And the dimension will be 25, 25, 25. No? Don't uh, change this dimension. And it's okay. 30, 20, 30. It is changed, ma'am. 25, 27, 28 it is. It has changed. So my you might have uh, means you might have um, uh, you might have moved this. These uh, you might have uh, while placing your grid, you might have ch ch changed oh. it by clicking on the outside uh, spheres. So you oh. need to do it by selection of the center. You need to, uh, when you are moving your grid, you need to just click on this center. Then you need to move your um, your grid. Okay, otherwise it will it will change this dimension. If you um, move by selecting this center sphere, this dimension will not change. But no, no issue for, for this experiment. It is just a demo session, all right? So after okay. selection of this, just click on this forward button and your docking will start. So when your docking will be running, you will see two things. One, in the Vena wizard, you will see the ligand and the progress running. So here it will give you the status of your docking. Once the docking for the ligand will be completed, it will shown as completed. Okay. Same, you can see from here, uh, from the left, uh, from the right side. It is also showing the progress of your ligand docking. Like 100% uh, its search is completed or 
90 परसेंट इज कम्प्लीटेड इफ वेन इट्स हंड्रेड परसेंट इट मीन्स द डॉकिंग ऑफ द लिग एंड इज कम्प्लीटेड और फिनिश्ड सो इन माई केस द डॉकिंग ऑफ द फर्स्ट लिग एंड हैज बीन कम्प्लीटेड एंड नाउ इट इज रनिंग फॉर द सेकेंड लिग एंड जस्ट वेट फॉर द फाइव मिनट्स so the advantage of using vena is that it is a little bit faster than the auto dock okay so you don't need to means uh, you don't need to wait for a longer time so it is a good software for when you have a large library of the compounds then for the docking has been completed for all the four ligands okay and even did your uh, docking is completed yes ma'am all okay. yes, ma the last set is remaining no yes, issue so when once your docking is completed just go to the folder which you have created to save the files you will see different folders like etc ligands and the ma macromolecules in this macro molecules you will see the files okay so one is the con file so con file is a text file which contains the information related to your x y z coordinates the grid we have created and this is our input ligand and these are the, these are our ligand output files so these files are in the um, pdb qt format these are not in the pdb format these are the pdb qt format so if you want to see this file in a particular uh, visualizer which uh, cannot take the pdb qt files so you need to change this file to the pdb format all right but there are some softwares which can open these pdb qt format as well like pymon all right so this kind of uh, files you might have created in your folder now you will see that there is an uh, in the vena wizard you can see the results okay so this is for your input ligand first that is 11960 and for all the ligands so there is an you can see that there is an binding affinity which is the score generated by the scoring function the mode like it has run the docking for the eight times or the seven times so 7 to 7 to 8 times so this is the mode for zero like that then there are two columns one is the rmsg lower bound and rmsg is the upper bound so this should be zero means it 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 shows the accuracy all right so uh, like how much it is differed from the grid you have provided okay so if your post shows the 00 uh, upper and lower bound rmsg that means this is the best post you have uh, obtained so this is the thing now you need to if you want to take this output in the excel format or the csv format just click on the second last column save as comma separated value okay it will allow you to download this in the csv Like Cox two output. In the second, save save it as in CSV from the second last column. Ma'am, uh, that configuration file. Uh, how did you get it, ma'am? the configuration uh, means the, the configuration means the grid grid file which yes, describes the grid. okay in your folder you will see three folders like etc ligands and the macro molecule so when you create the grid and run forward it create it get created automatically so go to the macro molecules 
click on the folder you will see that conf file along with the protein file and the ligand files it isn't there man still be there you can share you just share your screen i'll show you share your screen who was talking i'll make you host manasama एक्सक्यूज मी मनस आर यू तुम्ही Are you there? Hello, Manasa. Are you there? You are muted actually. I think you are muted. Yes, ma'am. I got it, ma'am. Yes, I got it. You got it, ma'am. That's fine. That's fine. Okay. So let me share my screen. um if we want to check like where we have saved the initial file how can we check it through veena if we want to save initial file means like uh, you know in the start you know in the start that you showed us to browse and you know select the folder where we want to save it like how to access that through veena that you need to remember the folder where you have saved the files No, I did that, but I was asking like just in case if you want to check uh, where we have saved it, then how can we like through Vina itself? I don't know. Is there any kind of option in the Vina? Is that you can go for the general search in your laptop? Like go to the home, okay, select okay. home, and perform a general search. Okay, got it, got it. Yeah. Okay. So now, if I want to see the structures. here i need to download it in the pdb format because we are using discovery studio visualizer okay now this is my input file in this auto doc section you will see that in uh, you just expand this file ikr input okay. wait a second now so okay so these are the output files this is my input pdb qt file and these are the output files so i need to click on this file then let's see i want to visualize this file 11 9 6 6 0 7 then i need to click on this now you will see in the molecule tab both the files has been opened all right so this is my input file input protein file and these are the different conformations which has been generated generally the first one like model 1 is the best model so for today's visualization we i am downloading these files like 5 ikr and uh, and uh, model 1 for in the pdb format and to to do that just click on this five i here right click on that click on save as pdb okay save as pdb i'm creating a new folder this thing is being recorded Okay. Okay. So now you can see. Uh, 
the protein has been saved in the PDB format here. Okay. Now we need to same thing we need to do for the ligand file. So for now, just click on this first one. Right click on this and save as PDB. All right. So now in my folder, I have the protein PDB file and the ligand PDB file. Everyone saved your files in PDB format. We need this for the visualization task. Can you hear me? We had to save the model one, right? As a ligand. Yes, model one as in ligand in PDB oh. PDB format. Right, the input protein file as well as the model one within. Once you have saved your protein and the ligand, open the Discovery Studio Visualizer. And click on the files and open. First click your protein. Okay. Once you open your protein, it will show it like this at here in the its GUI. Everyone, have you opened this in the Discovery Studio Visualizer? Hello, can you hear me? Just let me know if you have opened because I need to move forward now. Ma'am, I think you can proceed. Yeah, I, I also think so. Now open your ligand. After opening your ligand, you need to just click on, click here. This. You will see a little arrow here. Okay, just click here. So this is a protein hierarchy which describes a protein. And if you will click on the lift tab, and click here you will see this is the ligand hierarchy okay so you need to keep both the ligand and the protein in the same hierarchy so just click on the link control c or you can copy it from here and click here and paste it here okay so now your protein and ligand in the same window now first thing is that declare this ligand as an uh, defined ligand you can see in the lab most there are different options like view interactions defined receptor in the defined receptor you will see that 5 ikr macro is already defined as a receptor we need to declare this link as a ligand so click here select it and click define ligand Uh, my Discovery Studio is not working. Um, I'm trying to reinstall it again. Will take uh, time. Yeah, uh, it's not working. It's crashed twice already. Okay, no issue. So yeah. I think my this tab is not working. For you, it will work. Just paste your ligand here and define it as a ligand. So once you define it as a ligand, you can click on this Show 2D. Okay. Copy, paste. Okay, now this is defined as a ligand, right? Now, why it's not shown like this?
वन सेकेंड आई एम जस्ट ओपनिंग अपेट अगेन ओके सो आई थिंक इट्स ऑलरेडी हेयर सो वी नीड टू जस्ट क्लिक ऑन दिस वी नीड टू डिक्लेयर इज एंड डिफाइन लिग एंड नाउ क्लिक ऑन दिस शो टू टू डी इट विल शो द टू डी डायग्राम ऑफ दिस लिग एंड ऑल राइट Are you able to do do this? This is the two D diagram of your ligand which we need for the publications. It will give you the information related to the different amino acid residues, okay, which are uh, interacting with your ligand. So it and the information of the bonds. Like what kind of bond it is making, like van der Waals, carbon, hydrogen, pi sigma, pi sulfur. Okay, so these are the different kind of bonds which is which it is making with the receptor. Done. Okay. Now you can see the ligand interactions in the three D as well. Okay. You need to select your ligand and click on this ligand interactions. All right. So it will show the residues uh, with which it is interacting. So these are the different amino acid residues, and this in the ball and stick is our ligand. So you can we, for for now I'm changing the background of this. To change the background, you just need to click one set. Okay, to change the background of this, you just need to click on this interface, then go to the color background, and you can select any background which you want. I am just doing it white. For the visualization purposes, so now you can see it is showing the different kind of interactions. Okay, like the yellow one are the pi sulfur, the dark pink is amide pi, and the light pink is the pi sulfur, and the carbon hydrogen bonds are shown in the green color. Only one carbon hydrogen bond is seen with these residues. If you want to label these residues, you just need to. You just need to right click. Okay, here you will see the option labels, and click on the add. Okay, in this add, you will see what kind of labeling you want to done. So suppose I want to create label for the amino acid. I'll click on this amino acid, and click OK. It will show the amino acid information. So for now, it is not visualizing. You can change the color. Okay, so now you can see that it is leucine five thirty one, leucine three fifty two. So these are the information of the residue with which our ligand is interacting. If you want to change the label, you can change the label style as well. Just click on this add. Okay, now you can change the label color. Like I am making it white. Okay, I we can change the font size as well. Suppose I am creating it to twenty, and okay. Now you can see these are the labels of the residues, and what kind of interactions this is making. And if you want to see the distance between these interacting residues, and what is the length of these bonds, you can just you just need to click on the show distances. So once you will click on this show distances, it will create it will show you the distance between these residues from this amino acid. All right. So these are the things, and to save this, just go to copy, and you can paste it. Like you can create a PPT and paste it. Here. Okay. Now you can give this uh, for your publication purposes, like as in two D, three D diagrams, and for the three D 
फॉर द टू डी डायग्राम सेम शोर्स शो टू डी Again, my two day diagrams went somewhere. So you just need to copy and paste it here, like I have pasted it, and you can give it for the publication. Okay. So this is all needed for the like visualization task for now. And if you want to show different kind of surfaces, that you can also do from here. So you just need to go to this uh, display receptor surfaces, and you can show. The aromatic surface, like the surface created by the aromatic residues around this hydrogen bond surfaces, charge. There are different options by which you can show the surface of your residues. So you can create the publication quality quality images with the help of Discovery Studio Visualizer. Uh, uh, as the process I have shown you. All right. So that is all from uh, molecular docking to the visualization. All right. So, are you able to do this till now? Are you facing any kind of difficulty? Please respond to my query. I'm going to try it later uh, because my uh, software is getting reinstalled. So okay, okay. Anyone tried it along with me? No. All right. So that is how the related to the visualization. So let's recapitulate what we have learned till now. We have learned about the basics of the uh, of the computer data drug discovery from theory. Okay, then we learned about the different kind of techniques used in the uh, computer aided drug discovery, like uh, the ligand based drug discovery and the structure based drug discovery. Then we learned what is the molecular docking and what is the workflow of the molecular docking. For you, I am just again repeating the workflow of the molecular docking. Okay, so this is the overall workflow of the uh, uh, this is the overall workflow in which we need to select the target from the PDB. Then we need to define the binding site. Then we need to select the docking program, okay, and the scoring function. Once we have uh, done the molecular docking, we need to rank the poses, and uh, we can do this by the interaction analysis. If we are not getting any rank or the pose which is satisfactory, we can go for the molecular docking to see for the, for the re, uh, for the further analysis. All right, but it is a little bit time consuming. So once you have performed the molecular dynamic simulation and you Found that your molecule and the complex is a stable. You can report the result of your study. Okay, so that is the overall process of the molecular docking, and you can do it with the help of the Pyrex. For which you need to create. What you need to do? You need to select the appropriate binding site by seeing the resolution. Always remember, lesser the resolution, better the pose. Then the completeness, the structure, amino acid sequence should be complete. Okay, and more com complete. If you are not getting any complete sequence here, you need to define. Uh, you need to select the structure which has complete domain. Okay, then the relevance, so like uh, the animal should be same, the organism should be same, the isoform, the bound ligand, and the mutation. Select the structure based on your the requirement of this uh, of your study. Then for that you you can select the target. You can get the information of the target from the Uniprot database. And you can download your structure from the protein data bank. And for creating the uh, the ligand data sets, you can search your structure in the PubChem database. All right. And apart from the PubChem, there are multiple other other databases uh, like compound repositories as well, like Drug Bank, okay, Binding DB, Zinc, Campbell. You can also utilize those. So now you have the ligand and the protein structure. You need to define. You need to uh, you need to prepare your protein and ligands. Okay, for during the pre preparation of your protein, you need to select the appropriate chain which contains the information of your binding site. Then you need to remove all the things you don't want 
ड्यूरिंग द डॉकिंग अनी एनवाउंटेड हाइड्रो एटम्स वॉटर मॉलिक्यूल्स राइट Likewise, during the preparation of your ligand, you need to create the proper bond orders. You need to minimize your ligand, okay? And uh, uh, these process you need to carry out. Once you have created a prepared ligand and the protein, you can proceed for the molecular docking programs. For that, you need to define your binding site. You can uh, create the binding site around the five angstrom residues of your bound ligand, or If you don't have any kind of information of the binding site, you can go for the multiple sequence align, uh, multiple sequence analysis, okay? And you can select the conserved residue. And if you want to go for the brine docking, like um, you need to select the complete protein as in grid. So in our study, we created the grid around a targeted site. If you don't have any kind of information, just stretch your grid. Uh, in such a way that it covers all the protein then after running your uh, molecular docking program just uh, see the scoring of the poses and select the best pose which uh, which shows the best binding score so it should be more negative all right more the negative the binding energy more stable the complex and you can also check if you if there is any reported interaction which is crucial so you can also select the poses which are interacting with those residues which are reported as the crucial so that that you can uh, analyze by visualizing the poses right so once you have visualized your poses you can you can means customize your visualization uh, whatever you like and you can save the representation and give those for the publication all right so that is all from my side if you have any questions you can ask ma'am i have one question yes sir pal yes uh, ma'am for that time you go for vena and there you got that box 25 25 25 25 yes yes uh, why we are getting that thing can you explain it again Like twenty five, twenty five, twenty five. Yes, yes, right. That's maximum reach. Yes. Okay. So this is this is the default parameters. If you will maximize, you will get thirty, 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 thirty into thirty into thirty. Okay. okay. So we want to cover the maximum search space. Okay. So that's why we have created the grid box of twenty five, twenty five, twenty five. Okay. Okay. If you will enlarge the grid, so it will like it 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 can it might give some false uh, positive poses because. There can be many shallow or the hollow, hollow, hollow cavities in the protein. Okay, so okay, we need to create the grid box or select the grid box very carefully. Okay, ma'am. Ma'am, another thing is like uh, that grid. How help us for docking? The grid. So the grid is very helpful. It is the binding site okay. which you are defining for the molecular docking. So if you will define the grid. It will only dock the ligands in that direction. Okay, if you will not define the grid correctly, it will dock your ligands to any possible site it 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 find. Okay, so since we have determined from the experimental studies that the drugs bind to this, if a drug binds to this site, it halts or inhibits the activity of a particular enzyme. So that's why we are targeting those site which has already pre proven effective for the discovery of the molecules. So okay, that's why it is very important. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you so much. So today, no one asked any question. Why <laughs> you have not performed the experiments, Hardik? Oh. Ma'am, how are we going to select the grids uh, when the protein is very novel and we are having only the sequence of that protein? How are we going to select the grids? Yes, you can. You can do it. See, what one thing I said you that go for the blind docking and select the docking site, okay, uh, which uh, is showing the best binding of the post. But it is always not a correct fit. Then uh, one one way is to do that blind docking. Another one is to go for the multiple sequence alignment and select learn about the domains or domain uh, arrangement of your protein and select the conserved protein. Or the conserved residue residue of your protein, okay, by multiple sequence alignment, 
and combine this multiple sequence alignment information with the information present in the literature. Okay, because if uh, suppose your protein is novel, but there will be many proteins which can resemble to that kind of protein. Okay, which are showing good homology with your novel protein. So go for the homologous protein to identify the uh, the critical residues. Okay, so these are the two things. And if you want to predict your binding site, there are multiple software which you can do for the uh, for your binding site prediction. So they gave the most probable five to uh, three to five sites. You can select the site which shows the good scores, okay, binding scores uh, like good scores based on the softwares, and it should be druggable. So mostly the software shows the druggability of your binding site. So select the site which have some ligandability, like which have, which can accommodate ligands as well as. If it if a ligand binds to it, it has some ligandability, like uh, druggability, like it uh, the drug the molecules have the power to inhibit or to modulate the function of the, those enzymes. So th these are broadly the three ways to select the binding site of your uh, of your target novel proteins. Okay. So yeah. any other questions? Okay. So, uh, uh, anyone has, was able to do today's experiment? Um, I could only perform half of the experiment. After that, my internet connection was lost. Okay. I was able to perform 75%. Only, only the last, uh, uh, last portion, you know, uh, the Discovery Studio one, only that one was remaining. The rest, everything okay. was, uh, it was simple, like, yeah. We understood like what we have to do and okay. how we can great. do it. Great, great. So just do yeah. it, complete your experiments and send the result in the chat, in the WhatsApp group if you, um, and any question if you find any difficulty. So yeah, sure. Our, yeah. So there is a feedback form. You can form this. Our director sir will take the session forward. Uh, hello everyone. So how was the class? Can hello, can, you, can we have your feedback? Uh, one by one, alphabetically. That would be great. And thank you so much, Dr. Harshita. Uh, she is a computational research scientist in uh, at Drug Chemistry Research Center. She has more than ten years of experience. Thank you so much for wonderful lecture for three days. Uh, 24 to 26th of June. I uh, hope uh, all the participants have uh, some experience, little bit about molecular docking studies or some ideas. Okay. So uh, I will go one by one to all the participants uh, alphabetically. So Arpan, uh, you have A in your in name. So I just want to know experience. Yes. About sir. This is very informative. I learned a lot, though uh, I attend, but those are not this type of helping nature. They are showing that, uh, okay, we will help you after or before in the sessions. Like ma'am usually uh, contact, usually help us that, okay, you can uh, download this software like this way, but usually not other places. And it's good, quite informative. Thank you. Thank you so much, Arpan. And uh, I want to request all the uh, participants that I share one feedback form uh, in the chat box as well as in the uh, group. Okay. So meanwhile, you can also fill it. And uh, now, now over to Ekta Arya. Ekta Arya joined from two places. Please share your experience. Ekta. Sir, uh, it was a really very informative uh, session. So this was my first time that I was uh, studying about molecular docking. So it was uh, very interesting. Uh, as I'm working on the protein, especially novel protein, whose structure is not available on any database. So yeah, this is very informative for me. And uh, Dr. Harshita uh, put her effort to make us understand. And uh, thank you so much, ma'am, for your efforts. It was a really amazing session. Thank you so much. 
thank you so she thank put you. her expert uh, like uh, her effort so did you learn anything yes how sir. much you i learned a lot of things not 100% but yeah 70% i have learned oh 70% is not uh, bad okay i think it's more than sufficient yes sir <laughs> okay so uh, when, uh, i just want to add one line like whenever you are going to do some work in a with a software uh, you have to do more practice okay after practice you can be expert or you can learn first okay without practice you can't learn like uh, we can't teach you everything in 3 days 3 days is a very uh, short uh, period to teach yes, you sir. everything okay now yes, uh, over to adik Are they there? Yes, sir. Uh, so the lecture is was very clear and the purposeful uh, according to me. And the ma'am has teached us with very clear. And according to me, I have learned the bioinformatics and this all software was very new to me. And they have given me a new experience. Thank you. Thank you so much, Hardik. And uh, now to over. over to uh, manali uh, hello yeah. manali yeah yes. i uh, it was very informative yeah, i had it uh, like i had it uh, i had done it like 5 years ago for my masters but over the years i forgot how to do and what were the basic concepts behind everything but in this 3 days period i have pretty much caught up on everything and you know the fundamentals behind each and every step and how we can do it properly and what parameters are to be considered so yeah it, it has been very informative and it has been a very good revision for me as well and um, also uh, the techniques that we have learned they are also pretty good i mean and pretty easy it was very simple process to learn it actually uh, yeah i have been trying to do it myself but it wasn't that easy from past few months i have been trying to catch up with it but yeah uh, this was very simple to understand and harshita ma'am made it a lot more simpler to understand i think we should uh, like we, we we have to thankful to our instructor as he has more than experience like 10 years of experience so that's yeah, why yeah yeah definitely it counts it counts for it the way she have explained everything and the way she was uh, you know attending to each and every doubt it was uh, really very nice and very uh, uh, comforting in one way thank you so much for uh, uh, your feedback now over to mansha are you there mansha are you there Okay, we will come back to Mansha now. Soumya, are you there? Can you give your feedback? Yeah. Everything, sir. So it was a nice experience with me. It is new. It uh, everything was new for me. Ma'am's explanation was very good and. Oh, yes. Yes, sir. This topic is new for me. So and uh, Ma'am's explanation was very kind and generous. Uh, even a layman who knows computer can even understand what is talking and can do the things. uh through the explanation of ma'am uh thank you for everyone thank you for uh, for my participants thank you oh okay thank you so much som uh now over to mansha are you there yes sir uh it was very informative yeah, 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 and all the basics i have learned and uh, major thing is recorded sessions since they are been posted so we can learn we can repeat we can practice also thanks a lot thank you harshita ma'am for all this thank you thank you mansha and uh, now over to dr harshita uh, i i we we also want to know your <laughs> feedback how was the participants and who was the most active participant uh, in your class So everyone, everyone <laughs> was active in my class, and thank you so much for being interactive. And it was also a very good experience for me too. Like, it's always when we teach it, we always learn the better things. Okay, so 
thank you so much to all the participants for providing me the opportunity to teach and uh, if you have any doubt you can write to us any time all right so thank you so much i am very grateful to you all okay so i want to add one more line like whenever you are uh, learn uh, at dcrc labs or uh, somewhere else so you have to note down all the steps you are following uh, during the lecture or uh, you are learning any software okay but uh, it's okay we are also providing you the recorded classes and uh, uh, we just send you uh, send the videos to our technical team uh, they they will uh, process it and uh, you will get uh, 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 get the more uh, like uh, prepared video okay we are also have one youtube channel at the same name of drug chemistry research center you can find all the related videos and uh, the work we are working at uh, drug chemistry research center the services and uh, everything so you can also follow up in uh, in the in the youtube channel okay and uh, uh we i will provide the certificates within uh, two days or maybe in friday up to friday you will take uh, get your uh, certificates and all the recordings and uh, the group will be open for up to friday so uh, just go to the recordings and if you get any queries related to molecular docking so you can uh, uh, join us again okay and uh, uh, if you if you still uh, have query and you want to join it so we have another one week program in the next month july 24th of july to 31st of july uh, there is one sunday so sunday will be off and uh, uh, time to time we are organizing programs at drug chemistry research center if you are interested for molecular docking md simulation and uh, machine learning network pharmacology ai or any other related field like uh, uh, plant extraction isolation uh, pharmacological part uh, we have lot of ex uh, experts who are working at drug chemistry research center so you can join other programs as well okay so thank you so much uh, uh, you all for joining this wonderful session for three days pro uh, a workshop 24 to 26 uh, on molecular docking okay so, so thank you so much if you have any still questions or queries so you can share with us via email or via whatsapp group okay thank you so much thank you sir thank you so much